Guys, it's me, Padalovich. My first experience is your key to the possible ones. So thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of a series where I am teaching you guys HTML while I am learning it as well. So let's get right into it. So the last episode, we were talking about paragraphs, tags, and the P tags. The episode before that, we created our first HTML document and our first basic text website. Uh, so check those two previous videos out on the playlist uh, but this particular video we are exploring another tag but let's get right into it have a little bit of review and then we'll start talking about the new tag so okay first as usual our first thing to define that our document is an HTML document to our computers or to the website hosts and things like that is Explanation mark doc type dot H, or just HTML. Sorry, not dot HTML. I don't know why my brain went off there. Anyways, um, that is telling your computer or your host or your website there that this is an HTML document. Okay, everything within your open HTML tag and your closed HTML tag is the HTML document and will be encompassed. If it's not encompassed in these two, it will not work or it will not be visual. I have not experienced or uh, experimented with that type of thing, trying to put text outside of it and then c calling it an HTML document and all great stuff to see what would happen. So let me know in the comments below. But anyways, we got the head. Anything between the open head tag and the closed head tag is the heading. Everything that is between the open title tag and the closed title tag is the title of the heading of the HTML document. Okay. Now the heading and the uh, the heading and headings in the bodies are two different things. Now I'm gonna get into heading more because that's our new that's our new thing. But I do have to designate this ahead of time. Is that the heading? In HTML, the title of the head of the HTML document is going to be what is in the URL of the uh, the website when it's put onto a specific website after it's been converted to HTML document. Uh, so this is, you know, right now this is just gobbledygook the, of the PDF because I'm in Microsoft Edge right now showing you guys this on a PDF. We're not in an HTML document. So don't you worry um, about that. This just needs to have a title so that there is a title for your heading of your HTML document when it's posted to your site. But anyways, I will explain the other heading in a moment. I just needed to designate these two are different. Okay, so now, now we're going to the body tags. Everything between the body tags, the open body tag and the closed body tag is what's going to be visually represented in the HTML document. If it's not between these two tags, it will not be visually represented in your HTML document. Okay, now we're going into new territory here. Okay, we got we got headings. Okay, so what is a heading? So a couple of different things. The first thing is that a heading is like a major piece of landmark on your page. So heading one typically means like, or is typically used for like your major, what is your website's, you know, uh, like your company's name or who are you? You know, something that's obviously in the biggest letters on your page that you want everyone to know about who you are, what you are at the beginning. And then as you progress down, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five, heading six are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Headings, like I said, are landmarks in your page that you utilize for driving people to certain pieces of, of information on your page. Persons with assistive technology, text-to-speech, things like that, use headings to navigate pages by headings with different types of screen readers to quickly access different types of information. Okay. Now, why is there different headings here? Why is there different numbers? The thing is, is like I said, each heading has its own different size designating of its importance as well as if it's like, you know, visually appealing and things like that. There's different types of reasons. Um, the other important thing to know here is that you see heading one here and then H1 and then H1. Okay, let's, let's start with this first tag here. So everything between an H1 with the angle brackets with a closed a, a uh, closed h1 tag with this slash and angle brackets anything between that is going to be what is heading one heading one is the text that the that the that heading one is called so for this experiment we're just calling everything heading one to heading six so you guys can see the difference but um the idea is is that like i said is that the heading one is the largest and then heading six 
it is the smallest depending on your cosmetic needs. Now you uh, now I bet you're wondering. Well, there's there's obviously more than six headings on it on a on a uh, web page, right? Well, that's why. See, they, they've they've created the idea so that the heading one is your largest heading. So let's say if you have like two pieces of information that are gigantic and you want people to know about and everything like that, right? Heading one, you can have more than once. Heading two, you can have more than once. Three, four, five, or six. You can't have anything above six, but you can duplicate these over and over and over, just having different text in different areas for cosmetic needs or for emphasis needs. Um, just as long as you have different text in between each of the headings because obviously the headings are directing you to different types of content that you want your viewers to see. So like, you know, you have your, uh, like, like to use, use as an example, some people have like pricing or some people have like, um, uh, contact information or you know whatever you decide to put on your page you know that's what you would put as each heading and you don't need all six headings here by the way as, a, as you're seeing in this document either this is just for tutorial reasons for for explanation vi visual reasons that there are six headings here if you just have one heading you know you then you just have one heading and that's just it that's just how it is but before before we uh, go and switch from a PDF document to a text document, let's re let's encompass here. You have your heading, which is the text in the center, between two heading tags, which would be heading one through heading six, and it would be open and a closed tag. So anything between these two tags is the heading inside of the body. And to be inside the body, you need to have your open tag and your closed body tag. And so you have your heading, or you have your heading one that is titled heading one that's inside of your body that is inside of the HTML, uh, HTML, talk, HTML document. Okay, now you're like, well, you skipped over the heading. Well, that's why, because the, the heading is everything between the open and closed heading tags and the title of the heading is the text between the open and closed title tags. Now, like I said, is that your heading is directing or your HTML or basically your title of the HT of, of the heading is the uh, sorry I'm getting I'm getting screwed up here they're trying to explain this properly so your heading in HTML is the title is the title of your heading of your HTML document there now I've got it correctly and the heading in your HTML or that the title of your heading of the HTML that's directing you to this page is directing you visually to your body which has all the different headings in there to different pieces of information on your page. And like I said, guys, you don't need to have all six of these. This is just for visual representation. You'll see what they do in a moment. I have I probably confused you thus far too much. So let me know in the comments below if I'm unclear, if I screwed something up. I try, I, I try to make it as coherent and clear as possible, but I do screw up from time to time. So please keep me informed. But all right, so we're going to our file. Okay, like I said, guys, I'm in Microsoft Edge, and I am got the PDF here that is visually showing you guys, so it's easier to see and read both on mobile and desktop devices. Okay, so we're going in here. Now, don't worry about all these. These are just the different lessons. You know, I did lesson one, lesson two. This is lesson three. Uh, but anyways, we are wanting to go up here, go to view. You know, when you open up your your folder. Make sure your file extensions are open. I'll explain that in a moment. <clears throat> okay, we are wanna go to right click inside of our folder. You wanna go to new. You wanna go to text document. Okay, doesn't matter what it's called. I don't care. I'm not keeping it after this tutorial. So <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so how do you do this? So you copy the text from your PDF document in whatever format or viewer you happen to be putting it in and you hit paste. Now you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's in a paragraph. You know, what do I do? Okay, this is an easy fix. This is an easy fix. So we go here and hit return and then go here and hit return. Go here and hit return. And then boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom. Oops. Boom. 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 And let me make sure. Uh, put you right there. Okay, so you so now it's like it's exactly like the document that we had in the PDF. Now, for all of you out there, I don't need visual uh, visual placement of this or colors or anything like they do in some HTML editors uh, because I use text to speech and things. So all of my stuff is typically slammed to the left. However, if you wanted to accentuate, you know, your headings as being different, if you wanted to space them out or anything, you can go like this and it's totally okay. It'll work out exactly the same. Uh, so yeah. So you have your I doc type or your explanation doc type, HTML, HTML open tag, your head open tag, your title with your title open tag and the text and the closed title tag. Then you have your closed head tag to say that it's end of reading your head tag. Then you have your open body tag. You have your one through six headings uh, in your body tag with your open with your open head tag and your closed head tag with the text in the center. Then you have your body tag, your closed body tag, and your closed HTML tag to round off the end of the document. So now we're going to hit save. And like I said, it doesn't matter what it's called. It doesn't matter, you know. Do the you know creative stuff or you know whatever you prefer to do if you uh, want it to be called something specific. But anyways, we've hit save. It's all perfect. We're all good. Yep. So we can just close it here. Now here's where the file extensions come in. So now that we have this checked, guys, if you don't have this checked, you need to do it. You need to go to view and you need to change file extensions so that they're visible. So you can see the .txt here, right? We're changing this .txt here. We got to right click on the full the file like I didn't do. And we're going to hit rename. We're going to change this .txt and we're going to change that to an HTML. HTML. Okay. So now that we got into an HTML, do you want to change the file because it'll change it? Yes, we do. Thank you. The classic pop-up of our last two episodes. So I'm running through that pretty quickly here. All right. So now it's an HTML document. Now that I'm using Microsoft Edge, it will show up in my browser. It'll show up in your browser if you use Google Chrome or any other type of uh, mobile browser or uh, desktop browser if you open it it will view it in your browser so let's double click okay and bing bang boom we have different headings like I said so uh, if you guys are wondering why it opened another tab like I said you know I'm, this is the PDF this is technically the HTML um, uh, website file whatever you want to call it um, okay so like I said we got different headings here you have your your primary heading you know for you know visual giantness you have your heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 and heading 6 like I said persons with screen readers or blindness visual impairment navigate these headings uh, for different reasons so this would probably be like your title and then this could be like your um, tagline and then this could be like your uh, you know I don't know about us you know information and then you know and so on and so forth like I said and you can use these like I said multiple times so if you have like two headings that you want like this great if you have two headings that you want like this great if you have six headings you want like this great you know <laughs> the the point is is that having the headings in your page is what makes your page accessible not only for those blindness visual impairment but also for your viewers and also cosmetically pleasing uh, to your viewers and to your web page users. So, um, you know, that's basically that's basically it for this tutorial for for this one. Like I said, we're learning about the heading tags. We're learning about what they are and what they mean. Um, you know, we're not using them in any particular graphical manner quite yet. This is just a means of you know what is the heading tag. What does the heading tag look like? At, you know, with the H and then the number of one through six, and then the close tag of the angle brackets and the slash and the H and the number that it's associated one through six, and then the title or the what you want the heading to be is in the center with the text, and this is all encompassed, like I said, within the body, uh, which is also what's also encompassed in the HTML document is your head. So you have your title, you have heading in HTML as your title for your head that's in your HTML document that directs people to your body which 
is to your headings, which are visually represented in your HTML document. And then you have I do, the explanation doc type in HTML uh, tag up here to define it to your, your pages and to your computers that it is an HTML document after it's been converted to HTML. Uh, so then you have this resulting uh, difference in headings here. And by the way, this is zoomed in here. I should zoom out so you guys see what this actually looks like. So that is actually what it looks like for headings. Uh, so you guys get a general idea. Like I said, guys, this isn't centered. This is on the right. This is in the middle. All this great different stuff. This is this is just tutorial getting used to how to write your HTML document and putting paragraphs or not paragraphs headings in your body of your HTML documents. You understand what your headings are and what the heading tags are and all that great stuff. So. I know it went kind of quicker. I'm kind of summing things up pretty quickly because I am taking it upon myself and understanding that you have seen some previous episodes. Uh, but I'm also trying to be as recap as much as possible in these episodes because, in my personal opinion, if you're if if you're viewing this in the middle of of the uh, episodes, you may not understand you know like HTML or head or or body or things like that so I'm assuming that you have some sort of knowledge coming up to this point where we're learning about new HTML tags and things so if you don't know this and you've been watching this video and you have no idea what's going on well, there's two previous episodes in the playlist that I want you guys to view but anyways guys questions comments what are headings how do you make headings how do you put them in the body how, all this great different stuff what do you use them for what are, you know all this great things you may or may not know about ask me in the comments below I want to help you guys out I want you to help I want to help you guys understand HTML as best as possible if I wasn't clear in any shape or form and I screwed up something and you just got a little confused let me know in the comments below I'm trying to be as clear as possible and coherent as possible um, I'm not the best teacher but I try my very best so let me know. You guys know what to do. Like, favorite, and share the video if you would. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's more content coming out. And I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the first appearance is your key to the impossible. And I will see you guys in lesson four of HTML, of learning HTML. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys later.